I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. I call this exercise Charleston Chain Reaction. Anytime you do the Charleston, your hand can really turn on a dime. You got to learn to listen to your instincts. And that's what we're going to test in this exercise. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I'm going to roll the dice to determine which seat we're in. I rolled an eight. So we're going to be non-dealer north seat. I'll get 13 tiles and then create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Okay, let's take a photo. That's our starting tiles. We have winds and dragons, including a pair of these. Single two, nine, two, four, including a pung. Eight, nine, pair of nines. I think I would maybe try for a two, four, six, eight hand. Leveraging this pung. I might even consider a quint. East, green, fours. Two, four. I think though, because we have like numbers and including a pair, I would not pass like numbers. That's almost as bad as passing a pair. And I try to do it rarely. So I think I would give up a two or an eight. The two might be better because there's only one potential hand that you can use a nine and a two and that's an addition hand. So there's our first pass. I'm gonna take a photo of that. I was thinking either a quint or evens. We got an eight and we picked up a four. Here's a one, nine, nine. This would be for the potential quint. If we played two, four, six, eight, we don't need another four. But the other thing I was thinking is maybe we could play like numbers. Let's give up on evens and see next time if evens is better. But I think either like numbers or a quint. So let's go ahead and pass 918. Let's pass these three. We got fives. Look at that. So I took a photo of that. We got a pair here. I hope nobody would ever pass something like that. Look what we got. Four, five, green. We could still maybe play the quint and use this as joker bait. Let's keep the four. Maybe we could play four, five, four, five if we get a flower. Let's pass these three. We'll take a picture of that. Consecutive is coming in. Here's a six and a flower four, five, six, or four, five, green. Let's give up on the quint so we can pass these three. We'll take a picture of that. I was thinking maybe we could play four, five, four, five concealed pungs. We have an east we can pass. We could maybe pass the six and focus on four, five, four, five, or four, five green, in which case we could give up one of the dragons. I'll take a photo of that. 
we got a flower and a five. I think we can focus on four, five, four, five consecutive run. Because we're so close, we have no gaps, I would risk passing this. Good thing we did. Take a photo. Five. We have two tiles to pass for optional cross. We got the six back. So here we have a potential concealed hand. This would be the last hand under consecutive run. Four, five, four, five. And we have flowers here. It's one reason why I don't like to pass flowers. We have two discards for a concealed hand. Consecutive run. I was thinking of quint or evens. Let's see if the evens came in at all. I remember seeing a six in there. Oh, here it is right there. Let's see if we can force an even hand with these tiles. Maybe evens would have been better than consecutive run. That's what we started with. Let's see if we can play all evens. We could pass those three. Maybe two, four, six, eight with dragon. I'm gonna rebuild the Charleston now. Okay, there's the Charleston. Yep. Okay, here we go. Let's see if evens is better. Keep it. And we have tiles we can pass. Fives. I would not pass like numbers. Two, four, green, two, Let's give up a two. Let's pass these. Flower, six. So we're back to like numbers. Maybe a pair hand, two, four, six, eight pair hand. Two, four, six, eight pair hand. Let's give up the four. Let's pass these three. White, red. I don't like passing dragons, but we have to, because I'm not gonna pass like numbers. I do not like passing like numbers. We're kind of in between two, four, six, eight with dragon, or two, four, six, eight with flowers, or two, four, six, eight pair hand. That would be the second hand down under singles and pairs. We're on an uh, obligatory cross pass. I think passing two dragons is better than passing like numbers, so let's pass these. Wait, let's keep the green and pass these. Flower, we have a pair and a south flowers with two, four, six. We have no eight. We could still maybe play that pair hand. I would break up the five and pass the dragon. Leverage the flowers. So now we have a six and we have fives. Two, four, six, eight. So maybe what we could do here is give up on the pair hand, play two, four, six, eight. That would be the second hand from the bottom under evens. Use this as joker bait. And I think what I would do here is pass two and hold this for joker bait. 
So we're going to pass two for optional cross. Wow, look at what we got. Pung of fives. I'd probably completely reassess because we have a pung and a pair of dragon, a pair of flowers. This this was a horrible result, I think. The other one was much, much better. So I think what I would probably do here is just reassess completely. Four, five. <laughs> I would just take it pick by pick. I would discard the red dragon first. We could still play two, four, six, eight. Or if we get a three crack or a six crack, we could play mixed Kongs with three, four, five, or four, five, six. This would be the third hand from the bottom on the right. I think this was um, definitely not a, a good result. I think the other consecutive hand would have been better. And what's interesting here is I think consecutive is much stronger with the four, five then evens two four six eight even though there's no gap this is light and this is light and we couldn't even claim anything for that i think the first options the first sort of chain reaction had a much better result than this one that second Charleston was really painful. I think clearly the first with the, I think it was four or five concealed Pung hand was definitely better, only two discards. It is really amazing how the results can differ if you make the right choices at the right time. And that is why I like doing these exercises because it does train your mind to see the potential. If you have a set at home, give all these exercises a try that I do on this channel and let me know if it improves your game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do so you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston chain reaction for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.